and welcome to another Monkey Bakes 3D modeling tutorial in Blender. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it helps the channel pop up in the searches. Here we go. Hide the main again. I thought we'll add a little bit of detail to the to what we created earlier. Let's just give it some nuts. <laughs> It's not funny. Right, so okay, need to reveal it. So uh, do a three. We'll select that one there. This is a reference. Uh, do a shift S. Cursor two selected. Okay, so what we need to do now is shift A. Shift A. Thank you. We'll add a bolt. Hopefully it just defaults to your the, the hex one. Always wrap that is the head. Uh, if you don't have it, just in case. Go to preferences, add-ons, bolt factory, bolt. There we go. Just tick that. And that adds it to the um, object. Object <laughs> to the add mesh DMA. Come on, bring right. So, with that selected, we should just do a quick scale. Let's get the correct scale first, and then we'll get rid of all the thread because it, will, it won't be needed. Oh, although not that I'm going to be doing it, but why didn't you have that unscrewing and then that piece coming off? That would look good, wouldn't it? Right. So we'll do a rotate X 90 degrees. See, that's just. Yeah, there we go. Right. Scale. Is that going to be big enough? Go to a seven. Play that out there. Go. Way and wouldn't be better, mightn't it? Right, so we we'll do a G and Y so we can slide it forward. That little bit there gives it a little bit of appearance there. So, right, so uh, tab, do a slash on it. So we'll have that only. Do a control R in there. So we'll right click on it. Do an X and 1. That creates that. Basically, it separates the two parts. Highlight any of this. Neither press Control L, or if you're hovering over it, L and X and. And if we highlight this again, the little lip there, do extrude S for scale, and just do a merge at center. Right, so back out of there. Uh, what colour are these? They're probably chrome as well, but again, we'll just give these a, a right click, material utilities. Not steel for now. We'll set up the chrome and materials at another point. So, what we need to do is. That help? Yes, right, so in the tab. So we're in the edit mode, A for all, so we shift D, to duplicate it, and X to move on the X, shift to slow it down, and looks about center, same again, shift D, X, shift to slow it down, go, shift D, looks about center, last one, Shift D, X, slide it over that side, shift to slow it down. All right, with that done, do Control A, by the rotation and scale, do highlight the engine front, do Shift S, and if we set cursor 2 selected, and highlight the bolts again, 
a modifier, mirror. Click the wrong way. We want it to go on Z. Clear the exit. Hope you know we didn't do a set origin to 3D cursor. So let's so. Violate the boards again. One. Um, that will do. We'll just do a shift D to duplicate it. Enter. D to separate it by selection. Now we want this one. Don't need a mirror on this one. So, do a set origin to geometry. Let's end just so we can see where we're going. Basically, we want the pulley. Yes, there's the pulley. So, we'll do a shift S, cursor 2 selected, and highlight the second bolt again. Shift S again. Move the selection to the cursor. That's now in the center of the pulley. Now, if we move it up, Let's see it there, so we've got a three. Pull it forward. Oh, snippy nose all of a sudden. Okay, so you can see there that bolt is too big for this pulley. So we'll adjust this. So select the pulley head tab. Select them two there, the back one and the front one. Now all we need to do is do a, sh a scale. Do a shift and Y and scale it in. It gives a little bit of space either side there. If you can imagine putting the spar the spar. <laughs> That's shoot in basically. And all these words. What's going on? It's Sunday. So move that down a little bit. Imagine if that, but I have a thickness of the the tool to screw it in. So in theory, if I do have all tight on the Y, make sure it's got a little bit of clearance there. Definitely get the tool over that. Right. So with that selected again, though, I'll do a right click, set the origin to the 3D cursor again. Go to one, plug in the tab, bring the T menu out with the T, do our duplicates again, spin duplicates. And that's going to rotate around the 3D cursor there. So click on one of these, add up loads, you only want six. They are joined, so we'll use duplicates. There we go, press A for all, and merge. It always creates extras for some reason. 712 bits. Wow. Back to move. A to T. Right. Now, what we want to do is basically offset some of these, rotate so they don't all look the same. Uh, I. Easier way of doing this with procedurals. Oh, no. Not today. No. Sleep with chaos. We could rename them as uh, home top fully bolt to Front bolt. Go. Cool. They'll all have that same material still. So now, how about we'll add the name? Just select one of them on the engine front there. Shift S. Here's a two selected. And out of tab. 
right so do we shift a add a text and rotate on the x first maybe I like the A in the object data properties there. Change that to center. And if you press tab to edit, backspace over that. We, we nand? <laughs> we and, I remember. We nand. Small set there, lad. No accents. And what's it? I think. Say on them ones. W E I and right. <laughs> Not we nuts. Right, so we'll scale it down. S to scale. We'll stop the scale there. Uh, zoom in. I'm not far too funny. Where is this located? Let's see. The eye is just below that one, I would say, and stretches quite far across. Oh, in a one. A little bit, maybe. Right, so. Pull that forward a little bit. Oops, right, now we want to do a right click. Rather than giving it a thickness through the geometry here, what we want to do is extrude the, the outside back. So we do a right click, invert the mesh, hit the tab, two for edges, Let's go around, click around Alt and Shift. And the mouse will stop lagging. Come on, mouse, what are you doing? Did you ever get this? Is it something to do with virus scanning or something? Ridiculous. And you just select all these. I'm going to do an extrude Y. Extrude one more. Extrude Y again. Doesn't need a touch. So, go to. We'll stop and change to individual origins. This one here, uh, that one. I want to do a scale, just scale that out a little bit. Introverts, out of vert group, same to there. You guess what's coming here? Shrink wrap. This bit. So everything's stuck to it, and I just need to add the group into here. Should add a data transfer. Same again. Hit the engine. Click the group. Make sure it's on custom normals. As we found out the last one, check them all, shift down just to make sure they're on the right direction. Be it. And turn on board smooth, of course. And put the material on that one also. Yay, look at that. It's easy to put a bevel on them. So, if you wanted to. Right, I had a little error on it. Check these ones. Ah. Right, just do a right click shade smooth, then apply the auto smooth. There you go, look at that. Catches up. 
Or is it? I'm not just looking for a thumbnail. Yeah, might be. Look at that. Something quite good now, isn't it? Oh, I'll tell you what, though. Let's add a little bit of detail to this one as well. Right, so highlight the middle, vert, X and 1. And highlight this edge, do an extrude and scale. So create just an, an Oh, that edge you'll see in a second. Extrude scale again. That one again, and then extrude and scale. Just merge them at center. Three. Click these three. X and three. One. Select all of them. Put the increase on. Then extrude Y. Oh, gives that a little bit of extra detail here. Eh? Lovely. Well, better with the other materials on, wouldn't it? Tell you what, let's just do one quickly. I've got metal steel selected there. Do we just click on the, the the new material? See how it's added the zero one onto it. Now we'll just delete that. Pull this. Oop. I'm not forgetting that we'll put the caps up on earlier for typing. We not. So, for our bolts, right click, go to material utilities, assign, pro, what? You change roughness. Still needs to be on steel. Oh my nose! Here, Viva, I think. Was that pulley supposed to be chrome as well? Yes, let's chrome that pulley. Better again once the belt's on it. But there we go. Yes. And I'll catch you in the next one.